Kaiser Permanente has over 2.3 million members under the age of 18. These members are the future of not only our organization, but of the United States. We want to be proactive. We have the opportunity to be ahead of other groups in terms of promoting the safety. Opiate reduction is directly to save the lives and health of our children. And who could argue against that? Three weeks ago, Jaylen went in for a tonsillectomy and an adenoidectomy. So we're wheeling her off to surgery. That was very hard to watch. We were very relieved not to be giving Jaylen an opiate after the surgery. When we started this program, we in Kaiser Permanente Northwest were prescribing opiates in about 85% of kids after tonsillectomy. And most other regions were in that same range between 80 and 90%. At this point, we are down to about 10%. The risk for giving opioids to young children is that it causes central nervous system depression, which can suppress the respiratory drive and potentially cause the child to stop breathing. For young children, we don't give opiates after surgery, after tonsillectomy. Um, we have you alternate ibuprofen and Tylenol every three hours, one or the other. And I have to give credit to Dr. Anna Gross, our head and neck surgeon here, as a person who identified a potential issue and problem and said, I'm going to think of a way to actually reduce the opiate use. Dr. Gross thought of an innovative way of using the electronic health record uh, in a form of a smart set to actually uh, encourage and influence the physicians into not prescribing uh, opiates post tonsillectomy. So it turns out that it was easy to scale because Kaiser Permanente as an organization is under the EPIC platform for our electronic health record. We were uh, able to share our smart sets with other regions. We saw the same amount of reduction uh, in those regions participating. Permanente medicine is about physician leadership and physician leadership often leads the way to improve patient safety. We've all realized that we need to partner with our families to help keep them healthy, and they're looking for us to do that. So by proposing this and showing them that we can do this a different way, we've been so successful.